Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I will show you guys how to take a screenshot on your Mac computer. Now this applies to the full Mac lineup including the Pro, the Air and the iMac. Also there are three screen capturing options. Let's go over each one by one. The first one is where you can take the screenshot of an entire screen. So what you do is you press Command Shift and number three. And if you look at the desktop, the screenshot is automatically saved on the desktop um, of your entire screen. Okay, so that is Command, Shift, and number three on the keyboard together. So what if you want to take a screenshot of a predefined area on your screen? What you then do is, instead of pressing three, you press four. So what you do is you do Command, Shift, and number four and then you get a cursor which you can use the mouse or the trackpad to select an area and as soon as you select the area and let go of the uh, trackpad the screenshot is taken and saved to the desktop and then let's do one more to show you that how you uh, can do different sizes so let's do that size let it go and it's saved on the desktop let me pop both of these open so you can see the difference okay so the wider area you select, you get the bigger screenshot, obviously, and the smaller you select, you get the smaller screenshot. And finally, to take a screenshot of a window, of an open window, you have to do one extra step. So let's uh, pop up on a window. Let's uh, open Reminders. Okay. Make sure the mouse is on the window. And what you do is you press Command-Shift, number four, and then you press Space okay and then as you can see the window is selected just click your mouse or tap on your trackpad and it's immediately saved on the desktop as well as you can see so basically only the selected window appears as a screenshot alright so that brings us to the end of this video uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google Plus Facebook and Twitter for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.